And I thank God for an opportunity to be here. When I was a boy, I traveled with my father. My father's name, Oral Roberts, is a name that is known throughout the world. He is 87 years young. Last week, he celebrated his 87th birthday. He is in good health and still preaching and praying for the sick. I grew up under his ministry. But I was not interested in God. I had my own plan. I had my own dream. Dr. Abiyara, I wanted to be a professional entertainer and athlete. I was not interested in preaching. I did not want to be a Christian. I loved my father. I just did not want to be in the ministry. My father, my father wanted me to use my talent for the Lord. I wanted, I wanted to use it in the nightclubs. Now, this was in the 1960s. And college time came for me. By this time, my father had established Oral Roberts University. And he wanted me to go there. But I did not want to go to Oral Roberts University. I knew what would happen if I went to that school. I knew that I would get saved. And that God would call me into the healing ministry. And I would never become a professional entertainer or athlete. And I believe becoming a Christian would ruin my life. So I went to a university far away from home. But while I was there, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and told me I was in the wrong place. That my destiny was at Oral Roberts University. And so the following year, I transferred back home. And I enrolled as a student at that young university, Oral Roberts University. And while I was there, God got hold of my life. The day came when I put my head in my mother's lap. And I prayed a sinner's prayer like this, Oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I repented of the sin in my life. I asked God to forgive me and cleanse me. And he did. Later that night, I was baptized in the Holy Spirit. Dr. Abiyara, I did not get to be a professional entertainer or a night or an athlete. But I do have the honor of preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. That is my testimony. I didn't know that God would call me into the healing ministry. 
I didn't know that he would put me on television. I did not know that in 1993 I would become the second president of Oral Roberts University. I didn't, I didn't know that I would be the head of a university with more than 5,000 students enrolled. All I knew was once I was lost and now I was found. And I want to announce to everyone here today God is in the transformation business. He can, he can transform your life. If you think you're worth nothing, if you think you have no opportunity, if you think there's no way for you, I want you to know God has a way for you. If you'll submit your life to him, if you'll give him your all, then like Peter, he will make something out of your life. Thank God. Hallelujah. Let's give praise unto the Lord this morning. Glory to God. Praise God. Hallelujah. This morning we flew from Kamasi, Ghana. Where I've been conducting a citywide crusade this week. We closed last night. About 30 days ago, Dr. Abiara was in Tulsa at Oral Roberts University. And he was a guest on my television program while he was there. He had invited me uh, to come to a And Dr. Abiara, I am honored to receive your invitation and to be here today. Thank you. And as I look at this church, and as I look at you, there's only one word I can say. Wow. Wow. something wonderful in Ibadan. To see this magnificent structure. 450 feet long. 200 feet wide. To see every seat filled to hear the word of God. And many outside who cannot get in. Something good is happening here today. I invite you to turn in your Bible this morning to Matthew chapter 4. Matthew's Gospel chapter 4. Beginning at verse 23. Matthew chapter 4. And verse 23. I was praying on the airplane this morning what I should minister on today. And uh, as I was praying, the Lord spoke this scripture into my heart. I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to do. 
But just before we landed, the Lord dropped this scripture into my heart. And I opened my Bible and I read it. And 